Okay, welcome to the guitar tutorial for Angus and Julia Stone's, I should say the fantastic Angus and Julia Stone's song Yellow Big Road. Um, if you haven't heard much of Angus and Julia Stone, I suggest you do, they are brilliant. Um, listen to them, so chilled out. Um, anyway, to this song, you need a capo on the fourth fret, um, guitars in standard tuning. Uh, first fret is an F with the left hand. Um, he plays it with the thumb on the first fret of the sixth string. Index finger on the first fret of the second string, middle finger on the second fret of the third string, ring finger on the third fret of the fourth string, so like that. Um, it doesn't actually play the fifth string in the plucking part, so uh, the pick in itself, it's six and two together, to, and then four, then three. Okay, so the thumb plays six on the pinch, and then the thumb comes to four, and then the index finger three. Okay, so play six two four three okay and again then you move to G which is third fret on the sixth string everything else open play exactly the same with the right hand Minor shape, first fret on the second, second fret on the third, second fret on the fourth. Um, the same with the right hand, other than you use your thumb on five for the bass note. Okay, you do five and four with your thumb rather than six and four. picking exactly the same shapes other than in a different order. So you start with F, then A minor, and then G, then A minor. F, A minor. Okay. I lost my mind long ago down that yellow My mind long ago down that yellow and the last part time brick road. You just finish on the pinch uh, two and five on that A minor, okay? And then it goes into the strumming bit. Okay, so um, hopefully you got that chorus. Um, uh, like I said, it's pretty simple once you've got the picking part. So it's F, A minor, G, A minor, and then repeat F, A minor, G, A minor. Um, then he comes, like I said, he stops on the very last A minor after the G. He stops on that A minor uh, with plucking five and two. And then he comes into the strumming. Um, so he plays F slightly different this time, uh, as in he uses the fifth string now. So again, um, with your thumb, I come over to fret the first fret on the sixth. Instead of playing like that, he just moves his index finger up, sorry, his ring finger up, and uses a little finger to play the fourth uh, string there on the third fret. The ring finger is now on the third fret of the fifth string. And then he plays the G a regular way, which is uh, third fret on the uh, fifth, second fret on sorry, third fret on the fourth, second fret on the fifth, and the third fret on the first. And then regular A minor. Okay, he adds in a couple of uh, hammer-ons here, so he plays. So 
that's the, uh, the middle finger coming off the third string and back on and then to the G again uh, the third finger sorry the middle finger coming off the second fret on the fifth so we've got and then to the A minor he plays he plays the hammer um, hammer on on the second string on the first fret with his the index finger that's there strumming I'm not good at explaining strumming um, I think it's pretty poor the way some people have to explain strumming by saying up down up down and such like I've seen a lot of people do that but um, I'm gonna have to do it now so it's okay so so it's down down up. Yeah, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then when you get to the G, you start on an upstroke. So it's. On the G, it's up, down, down, up, down, up. I'm no good at this teaching how to strum malarkey. Anyway, and then again, and in the heart. The hammer ons come on the down stroke. Okay, the reason I don't like really explaining um, strumming is because you can embellish it how you like. Um, so long, and the, it's also to do with accents. Um, you can strum as many times as you. Have. If you get what I mean, um, as in I'm playing up down the whole time there, I'm just accenting um, certain uh, strums and it still sounds the same, um, as good. Well maybe not as good but the, um, that's the um, that's the way I see strumming anyway. Um, you should always um, be looking to play up down the whole time and then you just leave out the ones that you're missing. Maybe I'm confusing people by saying that, but those of you who understand will get what I mean. And um, it's all to do with accent in the guitar, especially on an acoustic guitar. Um, it's all to do with sound and pressure and, um, and the feeling that you get out of the guitar and you can't do that by telling people to, say, uh, to play up down up down. Uh, it's just not the way to teach guitar in my opinion. Anyway, sorry for the waffling and uh, getting on my high horse. I hope you've got a lot out of that. Um, that's the whole song, just repeat as necessary. Um, if you want to see lots of other guitar tutorials like this one, acoustic um, songs, mainly finger picking, check out my website, goliathguitartutorials.com. There's lots of free tutorials there. Actually, everything's free. Um, there's lots of finger picking, finger picking songs. There's also uh, finger style songs as well. Andy McKee, Sung Ha Jung, all them stuff. There's also um, Ben Howard, a few Ben Howard ones, and other things like Iron Wine and, and other things that you might like. So go there and enjoy the lessons. Thanks for watching, thanks for enjoying, and remember to click the like button, um, thumbs up button if this helps you. Thanks very much.